abandon the stillness and awake, be stirred. Upon the instant, a fountain of light from the far horizon, rousing a scene of exalted unfolding, flooding the surface with slides and colors and slightly overflowing. While with such grace, as yet unrivaled, comes the gravity of display. The soul, as under some karmic charge, pours down to the world so new and gray. Likewise, the seed, in eager indulgence, bursts in the womb of an emerald sea and garners and grows in its tidal dance and summons the magic of chemistry. Thus, to arise in a garden of peace where beauty does render each soul ambitious to relish its riches and ecstasies, such life must be worth a thousand wishes. To smell the dew feel first light delivered, to taste the times and hear the atoms quiver, to see, to be seen, to conceive. I am the soul, and I am a soul, one of the vast diversity all in the bouillabaisse of teeming life, seasoned to mirth and amorous bloom by laughter-loving Aphrodite. A love that incites every slumbering heart to delight in the world's ever-changing perfume, while dancing to time that ne'er ends, but always seems to start. opening wide the eye of the mind to see the facade divine that's behind time and place to every theme to each device the basic scheme though left obscure the treasure of truth enclosed and clapped on the rocks of keys most slightly Disposed. Thou shalt not near the forbidden tree, or strife shall be thy destiny. Dare not conclude what you cannot bear, as work of hands shall fall to thy share. And all at once, the lapping to and fro of most unbearable instability. Never before did water's flow comply with inactivity. Surely a child could not abide such crushing ambiguity. Then should the water refrain from invention, if this be its natural obstinacy? At length the soul, a cunning creature, of most untamable curiosity, resolves to accept the serpent's fruit and the legacy of morality. Free is the cut that brings the earliest portent of blood. Pray, forgive the soul for craving to savor all.